Science Kids of Martin County. Today we're going to be talking about all the basic forms of energy. And what better time of the year than right now with our kickoff of our holiday season. We have heat energy, thermal energy that we use to heat and warm and cook all of our amazing meals and those yummy desserts. We also have our sound energy. When we hear people singing their carols and the jingling of bells, even when you're listening to your tunes on your radio. Hey guys, do you know what happens? What makes sound energy? Vibration. If you hit, so like a drum. So if you hit it, it vibrates and it make, creates sound energy. Wow, great job, you're absolutely right. So whenever there's vibration around, you'll find sound. All right, also we have our wonderful, most fun part is our, go ahead. <laughs> did our fun friends here show us? Mechanical energy! Yes, mechanical energy, and mechanical energy is very fun. For our young ones, we call mechanical energy motion energy. So can you guys tell us a little bit about what mechanical energy is? Mechanical energy is anything that moves, like potential and kinetic. Absolutely. And what potential is, is let's say a roller coaster is going up it's a the uh, hill. And um, it, um, at so you're right. So I hear you. Top, yes. It's at the top of the roller coaster, and it's and gaining it's, energy. And it's, uh, it stops for like seven seconds, and then it goes. Whew. So when it stops at seven it's seconds, it's like energy. It's gaining, which means it's in potential, just like a guy when going a, like a like bow a, and arrow. And um, you guys are doing a really great job. I'm really proud of you. They're like really excited to talk about mechanical energy. I'm really proud of you. Yes, we were talking about how they have all their nice stored energy. And we have a lot of people that have wonderful little fun things in their yards that are moving and grooving. And they are all started by very special energy as well. We also have a lot of our light energy. Um, we are going to be using our stored chemical energy in batteries to create closed circuits so that we can make our own little circuits with our Christmas lights. So stay tuned as we get our materials ready. Welcome back to Science Kids of Martin County. All right, so the supplies that we're gonna need to do our easy at home circuit um, is going to be some tape, foil, two strips of foil, scissors to cut your foil, your light source. Um, I actually got these lights right from a strand of lights that had like 10 of them, 10 of the lights out, so we just cut them and saved them a trip to the landfill, and we're gonna use them for our, our project. Um, a nine volt battery for our energy source. And if you have any of these brass brads around, you may wanna try this out as well. All right, boys, are we ready to make our circuits? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get our two pieces of foil ready. And we want to make them, you can be as creative as you want. I suggest we make, try to make a two L's. So to do that, you can just go ahead and fold into those corners, just like this. Oh, good job. All right, let's go ahead and make that second L and fold that corner. Now, if we lay them down, we wanna make sure that we have two breaks because one, we want a place to have our light, and then another break so we can use our energy source. Now the reason why we're choosing to use the nine volt battery today is because it has both of our positive charges and our negative charges in one area, so it's easier for us to have it stand up. So what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and use our tape to secure our conductor down, our foil, How do you make it in a circle? And if you want, you can just go ahead and even tape it on the outside. It won't stop it, but you can put that circle apart. There you go, perfect. Okay, so 
the next part you want to do is you're going to take your battery and you want to make sure that your positive side is touching one part and your negative part negative side is touching the other because your opposites attract and that's going to when it's going to be able to allow that flow to happen and then when you're ready your light should go on <laughs> Let me see. Oh, my, my foil is touching, that's why. Good job, you guys got yours. Did yours go? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So, can you guys explain how the circuit is working? Anybody have any ideas? So what the circuit is doing is it's taking these battery charges and the energy is uh, flowing through this battery it's nine volts, so it's it's a lot. I bet it's going fast. And um, so you just so you put these two things. You could see if you put it yeah same this thing this and together on job, Christian together it flows like that electricity, so it flows it's through gonna... electricity. So in this in this um this tenth oil is a uh, conductor. So so same. what it does it it's, it makes the energy flow through, flow through, and then it makes your light turn on. So oh, there, that's you, why. I heard you use the word conductor. Can you explain to our friends out there what a conductor is? A conductor is uh, basically a object like tinfoil that makes energy flow through it so that whatever touches the other side that is energy sources or like a light, it would turn on. That is, I'm impressed. He must have a really good science teacher. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. Our conductors are metals. All metals are conductors. A conductor is something that allows electricity to flow through. An insulator would be something that actually stops the flow of our electric energy. And that is why we have your green insulation part on the outside. So when your lights are on, that it won't, the electricity doesn't travel to our hands or onto our trees or our homes. So our insulation stops the flow, our conductors allow the flow. All right, friends, so we are gonna try to up, up our little circuit here. So we know that it's a closed circuit. If I open it, it stops. If I close it, it goes, right? Yep. Well, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and put a little cut create another break and we are going to use this brass bread because brass is also a type of metal. So we have our copper which is metal, we have our foil which is metal, and now we're going to put in some brass which is metal. Do you believe that this is going to work? What is your prediction? My prediction is that this is a type of metal, and what a metal Metals is let it um, is through. a conductor, which makes it energy flow through it. So what I think is it's just gonna be like another piece of tin oil going right next to it, and the light once you touch it to it, I think it's gonna turn on just like that. I think you are onto something. So let's check out if you're. Prediction is correct. So go ahead, let's go ahead and tape your light onto your, where you had it. Just so it's secure, we gotta make sure that that copper metal is touching that aluminum foil metal. I have my break, that's why mine's not working. Go ahead and use your scissors and go ahead and put that cut in there. And all the way, you want to cut it all the way. All the way. All the way. And then we're going to put this metal piece, we're going to put it right here. Okay. So what are we missing in your circuit? Why isn't your light going? The battery, because the battery has the energy, all the energy in it. Dun, da, da, da. My prediction is correct. We have light. 
Wonderful. You're touching? Yes, it was off a little bit. That's why I didn't go. Here, I'll hold it's, this down it's for you. It's falling off. I'll hold this for you. And now, there we go. You got it. Great. Because our metals are all conduct conductors, it is allowing that flow to go. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that is our at, an easy at-home circuit project that you are more than welcome to try at home. These boys are going to get their materials ready to show you some things with some, a really cool snap circuit. Okay, today, today on Science Kids, we are going to be teaching you a really cool snap circuit. Uh, snap circuits light. It's a really good Christmas present. Yeah, you, okay. you probably want it. It's only $84.99. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so first we're going to show you this really cool snap circuit that we have here. That can fly with the propeller. That can fly yes. up into the air. Okay, so okay. first. So when it's flying, what kind of energy is that? That is. It's kinetic because kin it's moving. There kinetic. You know? It's moving up. Because it's moving up. And okay, it's, so, so first we need B1, B1 with the batteries. We need a three, three that will, connect it. That will um, that has energy flowing through it. Mm -hmm. Where's the and energy the, coming from? The batteries. batteries. Very good. Batteries. Nice job. That stored chemical energy. And then we and need, then need one more three, three. that goes there, right here. There. And then and then we need another B1, B1 where the batteries are energy. We're and then we're gonna we need the S2, S2 to launch to launch it up. Then you're and gonna first, put it on. And then we have to take this fan, put it on. Put it on. Woo! There it goes. Woo! Now that's a cool snap circuit. That is a cool okay, snap circuit. Okay. Now we are gonna be. Uh, Can I just share one thing? I thought it was pretty cool that this was able for ages eight to one hundred eight. So this gift truly is for all ages. Isn't that cool? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. So talk to me. What's going on now? So, so now we are gonna set this snap circuit to the side and then get these parts. And then this is a really neat snap circuit. So what up. it does is it basically this thing is like goes. a miniature flashlight that has different colors on it. So more light energy. Wonderful. Yeah. And then so we need these batteries. batteries. Make it charge. charge so it that up. has that energy to flow through. Then we need this S1, S1. to switch it on. And then you're gonna then need we need the, the R1. R1. And then, and then the we need the it. colors. The color. The color yeah. one so and that it, it to the so battery. that this will change different colors. And then we need a and three there. that the power is coming from the batteries from. And then you can turn it on. Turn it on. It's not working. It's okay. So think about it. Problem solved. Think about where um, it's not working. Let's check out the. Let's see the. Oh! Batteries. Oh! I got it. Oh, yeah, it was the wrong way. It should work now. Turn on. Yeah, and then you can that put the light on. And then put the light Isn't on. Isn't that fun? Look at that. Can Great go. job. So we have motion energy. We have light energy. These snap circuits also make sound energy. It's a great gift. It's a great kit. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for joining us for Science Kids of Martin County. Gentlemen, you did a great job today. Thank you for joining. Did you have fun? Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. We'll see you next time.